Dal Lentil Soup. This is a delicious soup. Part of it's blended to add thickness and creaminess to the overall finished product. The recipe calls for six cups of water. However, we like to substitute two cups of carrot juice for part of that water. This recipe is found in Original Fast Foods on page 170. We're going to start by juicing our carrots. Now that we have our carrot juice, we're ready to start our soup. Remember, by adding carrot juice in place of part of the water, we can reduce some of the bouillon needed to flavor this soup. We want our soups and stews to taste great, but bouillons are not always wonderful, and any chance we have to use a natural flavoring and reduce the amount of bouillon is a good thing. Let's get a close look at what we're going to put in our soup. All of these ingredients can be found on page 170 under Dal Lentil Soup with one modification and that's the carrot juice. So we have our water and carrot juice, our bouillon and garlic, our other seasonings which include chili powder, turmeric, cumin, and garam masala. Then we have some onion, some celery, potatoes, split peas, and lentils. Your lentils can be any color. To start, we're going to go ahead and blend in our blender the water, the celery, and the onion. If your family's like mine, my children don't think they'll eat it if they can see the onion or the celery. So we're going to hide it. We're going to blend it up in the water and put it in the base of the soup. Now we'll combine everything into our soup pot. Here's our water, onion, celery, our carrot juice, the potatoes, split peas and lentils, and our spices and bouillon. Now let's just stir it up and bring it to a boil. We want everything to be mixed well when we start the cooking process so these flavors can blend and mellow out with each other. Here we go. Now we're going to put our lid on, bring it to a boil, turn it down and let it simmer for 45 minutes. Our dal lentil soup has simmered for 40 minutes and we're ready to put part of it in our blender and blend it. This will thicken the soup as well as help the flavors become more uniform. Now I took a little sample of this soup just a minute ago just for a little quick taste to see how it was. And I can tell you that the addition of the carrot juice has made all the difference in the world for enhancing the flavor of this soup. It's taken it from what we would consider a three-star soup to at least a five, maybe even a six, right over the top. It's absolutely delicious and wonderful. Now that we've got a fair amount of our soup in the pot, from the pot in to our blender, let's go ahead and blend this up and pour it back in. Now that we've got our blended portion into the pot, let's go ahead and put this into a serving bowl.
go ahead and mix this up right here in our serving bowl. Give you a lovely close-up in just one second. Dal lentil soup. 